Hello everybody, welcome back to the Evil Within, where I'm in what's possibly, from what I can tell, the worst part of the freaking game so far. So, this is gonna suck. Uh, I don't want to be here. Why has it always got to be a mansion? It's always got to be a freaking creepy mansion. Uh. Except, in this case, it's much worse because I don't just have to worry about zombies. I gotta worry about some invincible thing that chases me around as, in, in, as timed. I mean, Jesus Christ. Really? The bottle didn't freak them out? Okay, I'm gonna see if I can loot this. Hopefully without the room turning blue. Nope! I hate myself right now. So much. Ugh. Okay. Oh, that's an issue. I don't have a health kit, so I'm boned. No. One does not simply dodge me. I'm so freaking screwed right now. This isn't even funny. Also, why didn't why didn't the room turn blue? Because the last time I got near this room is when it turned blue. Hmm. Is it like random? Maybe. Okay, well I found two health kits. That's pretty convenient. Okay. Nope. Nice try. Hmm. Just gonna... God dang it! Well, so much for those two health kits. Really? Why is it that all of a sudden I can't do that? Oh. I mean, up until the past few episodes, I've done that perfectly every single time, and for some reason I just can't do it now. Oh, this isn't gonna go well for me. Well, there's gotta be a reason. I think I know why it didn't turn blue, Crooksy. Why? Because I think when I get near that or touch that, it's gonna turn blue, and I think what happened before was the game glitched out because I got close to it through a wall. What do we have mm. here? Yep. Subject number 58, test 92A, electrode placement M33. This is so wrong. Ineffective. Anticipate greater results with stimulation of section F7. Consent region of the neocortex. Um. Subject imprint only partially successful. Um. Individual personality traits linger. I'm so confused. No, that's not right. Okay, I, I guess I somehow got that right. Great. What did I just set in motion? Is this... what did you call it? Your inner sanctum? Oh. A research lab with your own. I am most impressed. Why are you back? 
I didn't give you permission. I guess that's rude because of kid. Men of science. Men of science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments. I can show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a layperson may find disgusting. I'd say it's pretty disgusting. Things others would consider distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? You concern yourself so much with your appearance. But that mind of yours, that's all that matters. Okay. That's Marcello. Is that Ruvik with him? All right. Oh my god, I'm so freaking unsettled right now. Okay! Screw you. Mm hmm. Jesus. Wait a second, I just remembered that. I think I dropped an axe back there when I touched that brain thing, so. I'm gonna go pick that back up if the game will let me. Mm, no, axe disappeared. Great. Why would they do that to me? Can't open that. And, so, and sorry about that. What? Hmm? Oh, I thought you heard that. What did I hear? Nothing. What, are you freaking making weird noises again? No. Uh, parents rock walked into the room and I was like, oh crap. Oh. I was like, oh, uh, oh no. Can we not do this, Rivik? Please, wait, wait. The door. That door's locked. Um. Yeah, you, you can just, you can just slowly. No, don't teleport toward me, though. That's not cool. That's not fair at all. <laughs> I don't quite that's appreciate. That's totally fair. No, none of that's fair. That's freaking cheating. In fact, that's actual cheating proof. That's not like leveling up. That's freaking teleporting. No, that is totally, totally fair. Why is he still chasing me? Oh shit! Stop chasing me, please. Thank you. Okay, so he's rel relatively easy to avoid as long as I freaking run around a table, I guess. I'm gonna go in here really quick, save, don't worry, I'm not gonna stick around in here, I'm just gonna save really quick, just so I don't have to go through that again. Uh, and then go back in there. You can already tell by the tone of my voice that I desperately don't want to go back in there. <laughs> uh, uh, I know. It sucks. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the freaking little chase thing. I don't want to be chased. I hate being chased. What's with that sound? It's like wind. Break your pots because I don't care about your house, Rubik. Screw you. Um. No oh wait. Okay, some matches. Another pot to break, just to show how little I care about. Oh God, that's a creepy hallway. Wait. Okay, that's just a little pedestal. What pray tell is in here? A small, creepy room, that's what. Oh, sniper bullets. Sniper bullets are my friends. No, sniper bullets are not your friend. Nope, they're my friend. Definitely my friend in every way possible. And 
some brain juice. Now see, that's why I said Stop. Rubik was not cheating. No, he is cheating. Because I can't shoot him. And if you do, he teleports right to you and touches you. Yeah. So, no. Crooks, he's, he's cheating. He's invincible and he teleports. I'd say that's about as cheaty as you can get. No, if you were able to teleport and all that stuff. I can't do that because I'm human. All that, all he gives is some weird psychic presence. <laughs> Don't you dare do that to me, game. I do not approve. And I do not appreciate that at all. Um, what was that? Uh, that was a creepy kid giggle. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna get myself blown up again. <sighs> okay, saved at that time. But yeah, screw that. Screw that little... Screw the giggle. The giggle must be destroyed. There will be no happy children here. Uh, why is it gotta be children? Children are like the worst possible things in horror games. And now I have no choice but to go towards where the, the giggling was. So happy about that. Oh, okay, it's a big piano room. I'm just gonna loot these arrows. Because I kinda need them. For whatever's probably going to attack me in here. I don't even know why I'm sneaking around anymore. I'm gonna have to play that piano. I get the. Why is there a safe in that thing? Mansion music room note. Two worlds separated by a jagged chasm. Or chasm. Above, faceless spectators mocking the tragedy. Below, helpless victims losing everything. Okay. Um, can... Okay, I guess I need dials for that? Somehow? I don't know how. I can't play the piano, I guess. I don't know what to do now. I'm just creeped out. So freaking creeped out. I, I don't I don't get it, game. I guess it wants me to find some little vault things or something. Because I ain't seen them. I don't know what the crap does it want me to do. I went into these rooms. Certainly. Um... You weren't there before. Yeah, you were definitely not. Oh my god, you're a lady. Um, I'm just gonna burn you. So, I guess I gotta go back into those two rooms and find whatever is in there. No, 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 no. No. God dang it. I have got to walk around in a circle now. Yep, circles, circles, okay. Oh my god. Not okay. Not okay. I don't do well with situations like this. I mean, I know it seems like it's not much, but I'm extremely scared right now because I don't want to die. Like, that's 
the one moment in this game where I'm powerless to defend myself. So, not happy about that. Um. Okay. So then what was the point of coming in here? Apparently nothing. Anything in here? No. The annoying thing is I can bet that uh, if I were to try to uh, hide in something while he's chasing me, he'd probably just know exactly where I am. Mm -hmm. So, not even going to waste my time attempting that. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's just a bottle. Where's the freaking knobs for that thing? I guess it's gotta be in the other room? Yeah, I guess. Um, upstairs I go. I don't know, maybe that safe thing is a bonus area. Okay, that's locked. Great. What about over here on the left? Nope, not locked. Still not feeling safe. At all. Yep, not safe at all. Long, creepy hallways. God dang it. I don't like this game, Krooks. I don't like it at all. I mean, it's a good game, but I don't like it. I don't like horror games. <sighs> Shotgun bullets. Wait. Okay, that's just a bottle. No. Please don't blow up. Good thing I did that too, because chances are I'm going to be chased by Ruvik in this room at some point. So if I didn't get rid of that, I'd probably die. Great. Climb the ladder, why don't I? Um. Oh, what's this? What? What? Oh. Hi there, mister. Oh, you look lovely. Not anymore, but yeah. Why are you alive? The old safe title is marked with numbers 0 through 24. Um. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just in case, Crooks need to remember that number. Eleven? Yes, eleven. Eleven. Yes. Because I think that's the number for the safe thing. Possibly. Okay. Because, uh,. There was a picture with 11 people on it, right next to uh, the safe dial that I found. That seems like the sort of game logic that I would use. Oh my god. I don't like this. Okay, axe and some brain juice, that's good. If only I could freaking axe Ruvik to death. That would make me happy. Um. Stop. Hold on a sec. And we're back. Did Krupsy hear that? 
No. It was the sound of wooden uh, somebody stepping on wo a wooden floor, like someone walking. Yay! More brain juice. Ruvik's room note. I saw her there again, standing at the end of the hallway. Long black hair, beautiful as ever, streaked with moonlight eyes, dark pools in her porcelain face. She wore her favorite red dress like a crimson sunset, like a streak of blood in the waning light. Laura, of course, you can be dead. Okay. That's creepy. The way he talks about a girl. Which, so far, the only black-haired girl we've seen in this game is the spider lady and what I believe is his oh, sister. Oh, the spider lady's gonna come back. No, I don't... I don't... I'm not quite so sure about that. At least she better not, because I'm gonna freaking cry if she does. <laughs> there is a way to kill her. I know there is, but she should have saved that the first time I killed her. And then the other 50 times. Oh, I found a, like, a big health kit. Um, can we not do this? No, we're doing this. Okay. So suddenly there's a guy behind me with a freaking pickaxe. Thankfully I have an axe. So I'm just gonna axe it a question. In the face. I know you're there, you idiot. Stop hiding. Just, just waddle toward me. So I can kill you. Oh, screw it. Oh, wait. Nope. There we go. Ooh, free brain juice. You wanna give me another axe? That'd be great. No, you didn't give me an axe. The only good thing is that the few enemy the enemies that are here that I can kill are up oh, the first kind of enemies in the game. So they can easily be killed with pistol headshots. Whew. Okay. Just a little more. How big is this mansion? Jesus Christ. As big as Rufik wants it to be, apparently. Well, he needs to stop having a big mansion. Um, what? Um, uh, I'm gonna die. Okay. What the crap? Did the room turn blue again? No. Uh, just keep just keep watching and you'll see what happened. Just because that's how freaking ridiculous it is. Map fragment. Map fragment 16. <laughs> Stop. Stop that. Stop that now. I hate this game. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Developer, you're cool and all. But I hate it! <laughs> There's nothing okay about that. With having freaking creepy girl giggles. There's everything right about it. I don't know what you're talking about. Everything is wrong. Everything is wrong. Everything is awesome. No. Oh, great. Now I'm in a bedroom. What? Don't get it on with any strange crooks. No, crooks? That's not what I would do with a girl that freaking creeple you laughs at me. I don't know about you, but uh, if someone just creepily laughed at me like that, I'd probably kill him. <laughs> or at the very least, get the crap away from them, because no, just just no. I don't want to do that. I don't want anything to do with that. I don't know of any sane person that would want to, anything to do with that. 
Why am I going through a freaking chimney? Or fireplace? This seems like a terrible idea. Oh. Again. Another one of these. Um. Okay. Get some sticking something in another brain. Subject number 12. Test 71B. Electro replacement D2. Stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion, and memory allocation. The fear center of the brain. I think it's this. Nope, that's not right. I don't know what part of the brain is what. The last time I did it was... The last time I did that one brain was because... I do. It freaking looked like it. The psychological like, weight I myself there was a weird weight. indentation there. I don't think this is right. Nope, that's not right. Why am I doing this? This is horrible. Um... Seriously. I don't I don't know what part of the brain I'm supposed to stick this in. There isn't really a visual there's no visual cues, I don't think. Don't look at me. You're supposed to know these things. You're taking like stuff to be a doctor or something. I'm taking forensics. Well, this is forensic. What part of the brain does what? Uh, I need to take a look. Wait a second. Let me see if this repeats it. Subject number 12. Test 71B. Electro replacement A2. Stimulation of amygdala. Motion of Base of the skull. Okay, he says the amygdala. Essentially. Yeah, yeah, the amygdala is towards the back, of course, the back end of the brain. Subject knows as I do. This vessel is far too weak to withstand the psychological weight. There you go. Nope, that's not right. Move it to. Right. Move it down a bit. Oh, that's it. Nope, we got it. There you go. Everything about this is wrong. Why why would the game make me do this? Wait. I heard something fleshy. I don't like hearing fleshy things. You know what would really suck? Is if I suddenly ran into an invisible enemy in the game. Oh, Father. If you only knew how satisfying that look on your face is. Oh. Did you actually okay. think? If you locked me away, I would just cease to exist. And Ruvik went nuts and murdered his parents. You did. You did. Didn't you? Oh, you were never out of my mind. I hope you're proud of yourselves. <sighs> well then. Yeah, let's let's not say we did. I'm just gonna get out of here now. Please no jump scares, please no jump scares. Jump scare! Stop it! My little I believe I said no jump scares. And yet, said something seems to be making creepy noises. And I don't quite appreciate that. Wait, how did I miss that? It's a grenade. I don't remember seeing that before. Okay. Creepy girl painting. Wait, actually, no. Hold on. Uh, once again, I've gone way over time for this episode, uh, so I guess I'm going to end it. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next episode. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.